Calgary Northern Hills. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Budget 2017, this government committed to making significant investments in new school and modernization projects, having allocated $500 million this year for new school projects. Given that we're catching up in school construction, that we've inherited a school infrastructure deficit from the previous government, to the Minister of Education, how does this government plan to deal with the backlog of crucial school infrastructure that Albertans need? Thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And certainly, um, since uh, we've taken um, this term, we have been building schools and uh, 26 new school projects in this budget. Um, yes, there has been a considerable backlog, but we uh, had the Auditor General help us to build uh, a way to streamline the situation to make sure that we are building schools and giving long-term planning to that school infrastructure project. For more than a decade, Mr. Speaker, um, the government failed to do so. Uh, I'm here to help to clean it up and build schools in every corner of this province. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister. Given that members opposite would make reckless cuts that would only worsen the issue of school infrastructure, to the same Minister, how does our government plan to address the issue of much-needed high schools in Alberta, such as North Central High School in Coventry and my constituency? Good question. Quiet, please. Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And certainly, I've heard loud and clear uh, from the constituents uh, in Calgary, Northern Hills. We know that there is a school uh, and high school needed there. There are schools right across the whole province where we do require to build um, these uh, schools. I've worked closely with school boards and their lists uh, that they give us, and we update those over time. And certainly, we are taking prudent, practical steps to make sure we build the schools where we need them, to have teachers behind the in, in the classroom, support staff, and the whole deal. Because, Mr. Speaker, we care about education. We want to make life better. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Second supplemental. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And given that my constituents are concerned about a high school in the area, to the same minister, can you clarify, please, how schools are prioritized and selected for funding? Well, Mr. Speaker, I'd be very glad to do so. Uh, we use the school board's uh, capital lists. Uh, we work with geography. We work with imminent safety concerns. Say, for example, in Drayton Valley, there was a school that needed to be taken care of there. And, uh, of course, enrollment is the biggest factor, Mr. Speaker, because we still see very dramatic growth um, in uh, all of our population centres, especially in suburban centres, and we certainly will address those coming because we have a long-term plan to build schools, make life better for Alberta families and get the job done. Thank you.